Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Chloe here. We're gonna be checking out another episode of Nightshade, You're the Drug. So last episode, um, things got real. We decided to go and save Mishka from Roman, um, but in order to save Mishka from Roman, we needed to give up the information of where the drug was being shipped out, which ended up getting Vadim and Pavel seriously injured. Vadim more so than Pavel. Um, and Natalie and Pavel are now at odds with each other because Pavel kept begging for her help and Vadim got worse. So I don't even know if Vadim's gonna survive. Um, unfortunately, it's really sad because they were gonna meet each other's mothers because Pav and Vadim both have um, family in Greece and I think that they were planning to go to Greece to go meet each other's families. Just really sad. I love them so much and we're just gonna sit here and figure out what's going on. Mishka sat reclined in the bed, his head turned towards the covered window. He said nothing and shifted the hospital blanket over his legs. Huh. Okay, so we're sitting in the hospital room. I hate this. So, the cafeteria food here isn't half bad. I bet the hospital food is probably better, though. I mean, this place practically looks like a hotel, so the food's gotta Sasha. be good, right? You could have died, Sasha. But I didn't. But you could have. You almost did it again at the subway. Roman could have killed you. How could did you end up here of all places? I tried so hard to keep you from this place. Are you kidding me? I didn't ask for this. It's not like I came here because I wanted to. I blacked out in that alley. I was left for dead. Vadim found me and brought me here. If it wasn't for him, I... You don't understand. This wasn't supposed to happen. Ugh. You're right. I don't understand. I don't understand how you could have kept all of this from me for so long. I don't get why you're so upset that I tried to save you. I don't get why you're so angry, and I don't understand why you're mad at me. Ugh. If you didn't want me there, if you didn't want me to come help you, you shouldn't have called me into that alley. Kiwi, I'm sorry. He's crying. I thought... I'm so selfish. I thought I was gonna die. I thought it would be the last time and I just wanted to see you. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. He's crying. But I can't let him in the room because he's gonna be butt and he's gonna chew on cords. He's, gonna, he's not gonna be a good boy. The entire time I was in that cell, all I could think about was, all I could focus on was how I can't live without you. Sasha. If you had died, if you were hurt, if I could no longer see you, be near you, or see your smile, then I didn't want to live. That's what it felt, tight lying there in that cell. And that terrified me the most. Calling you into that alley was selfish of me. Wanting you to be beside me, and only me, it's selfish of me. I've been nothing but selfish. I joined Strexa so I could stay in Sobina, so that I wouldn't get deported. I wanted to stay close to you, but I didn't want to involve you in any of this, but here we are and everything's fucked. Mishka. You're beating yourself up, that's not fair. You're right, it's not fair. It's not fair that I can't feel like I can't breathe when you're gone. It's not fair that I don't care if I'm the one who dies as long as it's not you. I'm so terrified of losing you. You're not losing me. But I am. Every time I try and keep you close, I lose a little more of you. Because you have all these expectations about us and I can't meet them. You keep getting hurt over things we never agreed on. Things you want from me that I never said I'd give. Why let me have those things then? Why do you sleep with me? Why do you lay your head on my shoulder? Why let me be so close if you know how I feel and you know you don't want to be with me? I mean... He's got a point. You've been a shithead, Sasha. Like, it's it's not okay. It's really not. It gives using vibes. It's... I like sleeping with you, and being around you is comfortable. It's safe and familiar. It might come as a surprise, but I'd like being around you. Things were fine the way they were. What happened to it? No, they weren't. Mishka was sad. You selfish piece of shit. You absolute human garbage. How did things get so messed up? I thought that whatever this is between us was fine if I had you. I didn't need anything else. Because as long as I had you, my word for you were never both going felt to safe. change. You were never going to change. Things, things would always, always be the way they be were. The way they were. I would I have thought. stayed beside you that way. Unchanging as well. Huh? As long as you had me. So you just decided on your own that I'm no longer in your life? You sit here saying how shit's not fair and then make all the decisions about us on your own. You don't get it. I'm trying to give you an out. Seriously? You were being selfish. You're only thinking of yourself. It's not my fault that you're insecure. It's not my fault that you keep Sasha. pushing me away. Ugh. You're overbearing sometimes and you're overprotective. You're possessive and jealous and insecure and none of that is in my fault. You don't get to punish me for your behaviors by driving me out. <laughs> yes. 
I'm uncomfortable with the energy that we have created in the studio today. You're right, I'm insecure. You've always known how badly I need you. That's Sasha. my fault too? No, I'm not blaming you for any of it. Can't you see how exhausting it is to be this way? You were always on my mind. Who you're with, where you are, and if you're okay. It's not about you, Sasha. It's about how much I rely on you. That is not okay. To me, I'm not okay, and I just... I can't live like this. It's not fair to me, and it's not fair to you. Whether or not you ever return my feelings for you. I need to learn how to be okay without you. Sasha. Say something, please. Okay, I gotta not mess this up. I love this man. Please. Even so, can't we, I don't know, work on it or something? Now I might be the selfish one, but I don't want to lose you either. I know I've done some not cool things too. Well... Maybe we can work on it. Wouldn't that just be me getting my way? How can I learn to be okay without you if you're still here? I don't know, but it seems harsh to say you can't have any relationships just because you're afraid and insecure. At least that's what it sounds like. You're punishing yourself for just being human. <laughs> Since when did he start to change? <sighs> Maybe I can change too. Don't Sasha. cry, it's okay. Give this man a hug. Just give this man a hug. I don't know why we're playing these games. So I can, we can stay together? <laughs> Are you really crying like a baby right now? <sighs> I should try to comfort him. Felt unfamiliar, felt awkward, but he took a step forward, just one step and then another, before he knew he was standing beside Mishka, he paused his hand tightening on his own forearm. Then he felt a tug at his pants. Looking down, Mishka saw, Sasha saw that Mishka had just barely grabbed his sweats with his thumb and index finger. Sasha's expression relaxed, and he leaned forward, pressing their Mishka. heads together. Is this okay? Oh my god, he's climbing into the hospital bed. God damn, you have to be very careful when you do that. Uh... I was not allowed to climb into hospital beds when my mom had her surgery. My mom had a uh, quadruple bypass when I was a kid. Um, and yeah, I I was not allowed to, uh, I was not, de definitely not allowed to climb in bed with my mother or hug her, because she was in pain. I mean, you get your chest sawed open, you try, you try being chill about it, you know? Um, and I also also was not allowed to climb in anybody's bed when I had uh, kidney surgery. The two times that I've been in a hospital um, were when I had kidney surgery and when my mom was sick. And when I had kidney uh, treatment for basically my kidney infection, um, yeah, I could not climb in bed with somebody else. I couldn't, like, my mom had to stay overnight in the hospital with me. Um, yeah, I was not because of all the wires and like the tubes. It's it's really miserable. I really don't like hospitals. <laughs> As most people don't like hospitals, I really don't like hospitals. We have a lot of work to do now, <laughs> don't we? Yeah, I guess we do. I'm gonna try my best for you, for me, and for us. I don't wanna lose you either. I'll do everything I can to. We'll work on it and get a therapist if we need one, I guess. They're good at this stuff, right? You can also pull your head out of your ass and just admit that you like this man. You could also do that. I think that that's a good- I think that's a better place to start than with a therapist, personally. Because you refuse to define this relationship at all. In fact, you keep acting like this is a friends with benefits situation. And that's probably what disturbs me the most about this whole situation. But if you come over unannounced again and break my lock, it's over. I'm so serious. I'm drawing the line with this one. Do you hear me? <laughs> that was fucked up, wasn't it? Yeah, it really was. Never again. I promise. I really pushed it. I'm sorry. I'll forgive you if you give me some of your hospital food. Are you making jokes right now? I'm trying to apologize. <laughs> I'm so glad you're okay. I'm glad you're okay, too. Oh my god. Huh? Okay, we're waking up. Uh-oh. Do we not know what happened to Vadim? I almost had him. I was this close. I could have taken Ada down and that would have been the end of this whole shit show. Hey! Yeah, and you could have died too. I know because I could see it all happening. Then you could see what he did to Vadim, yeah? He's in critical condition. Our Vadim, he could have died. I know, I know better than anyone else what it feels like to power sleep watch while someone you care about dies. It takes so much strength for me to wake up every day wondering if I'm gonna lose someone else. I could have prevented- hey. I'm not finished talking. I didn't want to watch you die. I refuse to watch that happen again. Listen. You should have more faith in me. I was capable of stopping Ada on that dock. In the middle of a oil fire? 
love. We gotta talk. How am I supposed to have faith in you when you blatantly ignore me in your earpiece? All you needed to do was get Pavel and Vadim out. I had it from there. I called you several times and it was like you couldn't hear me. You were so wrapped up in your rage and pride that no amount of begging would have broken through to you. That's not okay. I don't want to feel like a spectator in your life. Have faith in me. Have faith that I also know what I'm doing and that I could and did get Vadim here safely. Tonight you weren't thinking of saving Vadim. You just wanted to avenge him. I did what I had to do so that we make it both home. Indigo, you're right, and I'm sorry. I lost myself back there. I shouldn't have come back. Mishka's safe, so my job's done. Natalie! I'm no longer needed here. Stop it! Just... Please, stop! I need you here. <laughs> Whether you're wallowing in your self-pity at home or here at Strexa, I will always worry about you. Don't you get it? No matter where you go, where you try to run, I'll always worry about you. Please just stay a little longer. How do you do that, Indigo? You inspire me to do better, to be better. You always bring out the best in me or remind me that my best is in there somewhere. That's what love does, silly. Lit- oh. Dima, Dima and his crop top are here to have a conversation with us. I'm sorry. Vadim's stable now, but he's still out. I came to check on Mishkin in the meantime. So... Uh... What do we do now, Dima? I don't know. For now, we should rest and regroup. Right. Do you know where Pav is? He's with Vadim. Not even the doctor can keep him out. I'm gonna go check on him then. Hey. Same shit, different day. Aren't you tired of this? You know this was out of my control. Was it? Was it out of your control when Strex and Mass produced highly addictive drugs to disperse across the city? You know how hard I've been working on my own recovery, let alone how hard I'm trying to keep the city from falling apart. Yet somehow, releasing that drug was out of your control. This entire mess of an operation has nothing to do with your history with Roman, right? Is that also out of your control? I'm gonna make things right. I've heard this spiel before, Dima. Your word means nothing if you don't make any changes. I will because I can't lose anyone else. I won't. I'm done. It's a shame you're feeling this now, you know, after Mishka was taken, and after Roman decided to light up an entire pier. No, that was my fault. I told Roman about the pier. The operation was secure and I blew it wide open. By saving Mishka's life, I put others in danger. It's my fault and I can't apologize enough, but I don't regret saving Mishka's life. Sasha. Never should have gotten that far. It won't happen again. None of this will. What are you planning, Dean? <sighs> I'm thinking of disbanding Strexa. What? Everything? All of Strexa? I'm not sure yet, but it seems like no. the only way. What about the bus lines? And the tower? The perfected NS? You have the ability to make these things better, Dima. What are you planning to do? Throw it all away? Run from it? And Roman, what will keep him from taking control of the city? I don't know, but I'm not running away. I will stay until we address every possible scenario, but it's gonna take time. Whatever you decide to do, I hope to God you've thought it through. You know there's help if you need it. Ugh. Is Pav okay? Ecto attacked the supply. All of Pav's new drug went with it, and Vadim was caught in the crossfire. He's stable now, but Pav won't even look at me, let alone allow me within four meters of Vadim. Because of me. You did what you felt you had to. But it still happened because of me. Sasha. Ooh. You're so fucking loud out here. I'm going to my apartment. Mishka. Mishka, you can't leave yet. I want to go to my room. I don't want to sit in that hospital bed listening to everybody bitch about who fucked up the hardest. At least let me send a nurse to help. <clears throat> I don't need your help. Mishka, what if you hurt yourself? I know you want to go to your room, but Dima's just looking out for you. Didn't know you two were so close. Mishka, this is about you. What if you break your stitches? <sighs> I'm sorry, I just want some space for a bit. All right. All right, but please, at least let me know if we need anything. You need anything. Whatever. Okay, all right, fine. I never wanted to hurt him. I care about his safety above all else. I, I promise. He trusted me, and I I promised everyone. I wouldn't blame them if they never forgave me for it. Oh, okay. Interesting. She's after Mishka. No. I just got him back. Wait. Sasha, what are you doing? <sighs> Look me in the eye and... <sighs> Hold on. Jesus, that was a long run. Look me in the eye and tell me truthfully, do you really want space right now? Sasha, 
Because if you do, if you really do, then I'll give you space. But if you have any shred of doubt, or if you don't want to be alone, then I'd rather be with you right now. You'd rather be here with me? Well... If you want, I'd really like that. This man, you cannot rip this man's stitches, it will hurt. Okay, anyways, I'm going to bring this episode to a close. Uh, but if you liked, I know this is a little bit of a shorter episode than I would have liked. But um, if you like this video, please leave a like because it really does help the channel out. Also consider subscribing. And when you subscribe, be sure to the notifications bell so you get updates on when I upload future episodes. Without further ado, thank you all so, so, so much for watching. Bye! I'd like to give a very special shout out and thanks to the following patrons. Deep Dive Dylan, D. Roberts, Brian White, Caleb Putnam, Robin Harper, Bob Conway, Cody Webb, and Maticus Sama. Thank you all so much.